Hi, Andy McPhee here at F.A. Davis. I'm going to take you today through a product called Classroom to Clinic Study System by Mona Sedrak and Scott Massey. There's a kind of a tutorial or overview on our Davis Plus website for the book. Um, but I'm going to take you through the software that accompanies it because that's the real crux of this product and it's, it, it's fantastic. So I want to take you through that. So I'm going to leave you now. We'll go right to the software. This is your personal professor software for the uh, that I mentioned for the classroom to clinic. I'm going to start the program. Click start. My version already is partly filled out, so you see these half green, half blue boxes. That means it's some of my um, some of the dis di diseases and disorders in the program have already been uh, worked on. So I'm going to choose one that I haven't worked on. I'll choose gynecology. This is, by the way, the body system view. You can just as easily do a, a clerkship view. We'll click here, save and continue, and you get the same. It's all the same database. It's just how it's presented. So let's stick with this. We'll go to uh, internal medicine, and I'm going to choose a topic. Now the diseases and disorders on the left are all of the ones um, that are contained in the NCCPA blueprint. The authors have chosen these for internal medicine, but all of the topics in the blueprint are covered in this software. So we'll choose acute pericarditis. Right now it's blank, so I can choose to put a definition in there by clicking the green plus button. I can type anything I want. I'm not going to put in anything terrible. <laughs> um, and I can do the same by hitting the enter key, type enter, type enter, um, and I can also uh, uh, boldface anything I want here, italicize it, it's rendered in rich text. When I complete all of these headings, and these headings are all part of um, the blueprint, they are exactly as the blueprint indicates in the order in which they occur in the blueprint. So the student goes through each disease and disorder and types their own notes in. They then can compare the high yield notes, which the authors have prepared, and push any of these notes on the right, which are the author's notes, into their own notes on the left. So I'm going to push the definition by clicking on that, and then I click this, uh, excuse me, this button here, copy the student notes, and there it is right here in the student side. And they can do this with any of them, Anyone they missed, and there it is, etiology, pathogenesis. So that by the end, they've typed in their own notes, and they've used the author's high-impact notes to develop a full set of their own notes that they can then print off, um, put in a loose-leaf binder, refer to anytime they want, because it's all saved here. I'm going to save this. You can enter a pretest score. That The pretest is from the book. Anything, uh, you, you, let's say you got a score of those 25 questions, you got, you got 13 of them right. You didn't do too good in the pretest. But you then can take a post test quiz of, uh, and this one has 16 questions in it. And you go through these, and you then can put your score into the uh, post test. Um, I haven't really done very well, as you can see. Here's my uh, score screen. Now, you can retake a test anytime you want. You also can take a summative exam. That's what the authors call this. Uh, I'm going to start a new exam. The authors call it a summative, summative exam. It's 360 questions, multiple choice questions that are pulled randomly from the entire database of more than 2,000 questions in the software. They can then put the score from this summative exam into what we call a pants predictor online. This is the Davis Plus page for the, the book. I just uh, logged into Davis Plus into my account and I searched in the search box up here for Sedrak, S-E-D-R-A-K. You could just as easily search for Massey or Classroom. That will do it. But you'll come to this page and there's the pants predictor. So you click that and you'll see it pop up down below and you go to that pants predictor and another window pops up. So let's say I scored on the summative exam um, 268. I have no idea what that's going to be. 
I then can calculate it and it predicts my PAN score. Uh, my PAN score is 669. 669. So I think that might not be bad. Um, and uh, that's the predictor. And this is based on actual data that Scott Massey and Mona Sadrak have put together. Scott's been collecting it for a number of years. They've published about this, uh, their work, and about this predictor, basically, and about this, the value of the summative exam. So this is not a fly-by-night calculation. This is based on actual data, and it should provide a fairly close approximation of what the student can expect to get in the pants or pantry if they took the exam that day. So we're back here now at your personal professor software. Um, I'm at the main page, and I just wanted to point out a couple more things. There is this tracking mechanism I mentioned, and it, it registers whether or not you started, completed, or in the process of completing any of the body systems or any of the clerkships. There's a help section, a fairly robust help section, although I don't think most uh, users will need it because it is rather intuitive. And again, you can also search the student notes, and you'll get a search box. I'm going to put in uh, cardiovascular. And it will search not only the student notes, but also the high-impact notes. <clears throat> and uh, there are no student results because I haven't typed the word in. But there are 27 author results here, and it shows you, it highlights where each of those are. And you can do that for any word in any of the, uh, the notes that you have made or that the authors have made. Really cool function. So I really, I think uh, the person, your personal professor software is a fascinating and really worthwhile piece of software that can help students throughout the clinical year. That's what it's made for. It's made to start in the beginning of the, of the clinical year and to work all the way through it to test themselves as they go. And uh, I've had great feedback on this. Uh, we've had great feedback on this product so far. And I hope this little uh, overview um, helps you better understand what this software is all about. Thanks very much.